Sean, yes, I know that the fight for Everton. Two lands apiece out of Bournemouth. How would you sum up that pathetic performance? Yeah, look, you know, it was just a normal day at the office, really, wasn't it? You know, 99 shots a goal, a defeat, an own goal from a 96-year-old right back. Um, a protest on County Road because I had red undies on during the game. And, uh, you know, I gave Nathan Patterson a slap. You know, it was just a normal day at the office, really. I mean, better on score, but the strikers were having an absolute nightmare in the front of goals, Sean. Yeah, look, you know, to be fair, last night we had our end of season awards and um, I won attacker of the year for my um, slap on Nathan Patterson when we were away, at the, you know, at the training camp. And, um, you know, Dominic Carvalho was few, but I think I deserved to win the award. It was a great slap and, you know, Patterson deserved it. You know, he's got a, you know, a 93-yard right back in the team ahead of him uh, who's actually scored more goals than him as well. For Bournemouth. Uh, but yeah, you know, look, you know, uh, it's one of those things. But Dominic Calvert Lewin, he did win an award. He won Handbag of the Year. And you know what? That lad deserves it for all the shopping that he's done this year. Absolutely brilliant. Really great. Speaking of the Nathan Patterson slap, why did you slap your 27th choice right back? Yeah, look, you know, it was just, it was just a little prank that went wrong. He just didn't get the joke. He just gave him a little slap on the back of the head. That's all it was. And then, you know, got him in a headlock, you know, started kicking him. You know, a couple of uppercuts, a few left jabs and threatened to hurt his family. Um, it's just a little prank that went wrong. He didn't get the joke. And I, I thought the Scottish had a good sense of humour. I mean, have you seen have you seen Patterson play? Honest to God, what a stitch is watching him play when he plays. And um, I thought he had a good sense of humour. You'd think so, wouldn't you, with the way he plays football? But, you know, that's just the way it is. Prank that went wrong. No win in 45 games now, Sean. This is this is proper relegation form. This is yeah, you know, only three months ago, you know, we were challenging for the Premier League title. Um, you know, we were on for the the quadruple. Um, now James Sarkowski was going to win the Ballon d'Or, and they were going to build me a statue. Uh, and now, you know, of course, we're in for the Championship. We're going to get another twenty four point deduction, uh, forty five defeats on the bounce, and um, you know the, the the you know Evertonians are holding my wife, kids, and dogs hostage in the Wilmslow. Things can change quite quick. You know, it's just one of them things. Sure, it's clear you're under extreme pressure now. Do you think the new owners will suck you? No, not at all. Spoke to um, the, the new owner, Pablo Escobar, this morning. Uh, he's offered me a new 35-year contract. The terms are the same. Just keep losing games with Everton. Uh, oh, and he wants me to smuggle some um, some powder, uh, white powder. I think it's flour um, and sugar uh, from Colombia into the UK uh, three times a month. No problem with that. Oh, lovely lad. And uh, I've just got to do that three times a month with a couple of the lads off Narcos. No problem at all. Times are good. It's all good.